Hi, my name is Casey Donnelly and I'm the Communications and Safe Sport Coordinator for Bulls Canada. I invite you to join me as I get to know Canada's national squad members through a virtual chat. In this next interview with a national team member, I got the chance to chat with Rob Law, a member of the senior squad. I'm Rob. I'm on the senior squad right now uh, and most recently was selected to play lead on the fours and triples team. And how did you first get into Bulls? Uh, so I first got into Bulls, my grandma brought me to uh, what's known as a buddy day in Manitoba. And so I went with her and then watched her a little bit, played when I was like nine or 10 a couple times and kind of really got into it when I was 12 uh, and went to my first nationals in Montreal. Cool. And were you like pretty good from the get go or did it take you some time to get into it? I'd like to think I was pretty good, but I know that's not the case. Uh, but no, it took me for sure a few years at least to kind of get half decent and then yeah it's been a long journey since to get good I guess. Fair enough and why do you love the sport? Uh, well, I think a lot of the reasons like Cam said it's uh, the competitive environment is really cool the people you can't beat the community is amazing uh, I actually was able to be saved from the side of the road in Swift Current because of the Bulls community this summer which is pretty cool um, but aside from that now it's kind of become a cool way to get away from just regular school life or work life and get away and have fun for an evening. What do you mean saved from the side of the road? Uh, so I broke, I was driving back from Calgary to Winnipeg, I broke down about 15 kilometers outside Swift Current. Oh no. Um, and because of COVID, you can't drive with the tow truck drivers. So they told me I needed my own ride. Uh, so I called Mike Petuli and I was like, I need help. Do uh, you know anyone in Swift Current? And he was able to get me a ride from Swift, or from outside Swift Current to the shop. So. Wow, that's lucky. It was very lucky. <laughs> Um, so what do you currently do for school and work? Uh, I am currently a second year law student out at Dalhousie University uh, Schulich School of Law. Uh, so in the summers I work for a small firm or a mid-sized firm I guess out in Calgary uh, and then in the winter I'm just a student. Cool and do you already have a degree? Uh, I do I have a degree in accounting finance from the University of Manitoba as well. That's awesome. Um, what are your aspirations for after school? Like do you have a goal for afterwards? Uh, I don't have maybe a specific goal. I mean, it would be nice to make partner or something at the law firm and kind of grow from there. But uh, at this point, I'm pretty open to whatever my career path is. Fair enough. That's cool. Um, do you have a favorite Bulls memory? I think, I was thinking about this, I think any time watching Canada win an event has been super cool. So whether that was P winning her under 25 title or Bear Investor in the last uh, multi-nations. Um, my favorite game I've played in would probably be I played uh, England in the under 25 indoor. Uh, he was the previous world champion, uh, and that was to force a three way tie break. And it was in Scotland, so all the Scottish people were rooting me on, which was pretty cool. So that was a fun game to play. Cool. Where's like the coolest place you've played in your opinion? Uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to say Broad Beach. I've actually only been to Broad Beach four times uh, in Scotland once and then California. So cool. Broad Beach is by far the dream place to play I think. Oh yeah? <laughs> Why is that? Uh, it's so, it, the clubs out there are unbelievable. It's so nice. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a dream compared to, I mean, some of our clubs are pretty small here out there. They're like social gathering spots, which is pretty neat. Um, do you play any other sports? Uh, not competitively, but I do go for the social curling game once in a while, and I emphasize social. Uh, I used to play hockey, um, and yeah, that's about it. Nice. Have you ever like considered playing competitive? curling or? Uh, I played competitively in high school. I was on our high school team. That's uh, cool. But I'm not that good at curling. I just kind of like think there's like six people tried out and five people make it. So. Oh nice. <laughs> yeah it's like really nailed that one. <laughs> <laughs> what are your goals for your Bulls development? Uh, I think just getting more consistent um, locking in and I mean ultimately I'd like to be able to step off the mat after each each end and make sure that the boys aren't in trouble at any point uh, would be the ideal state and make sure they're leaving them in good position always. Cool. How has it been balancing school and high performance for it? I think it's actually kind of helped in a sense. I mean, obviously the time commitment is quite challenging, um, but you know, like I get an escape from school when sometimes it can be really easy to, to look at things and be kind of overwhelmed. I can go to the bowls green and train or go to the gym uh, and work out. And then vice versa, if I'm having a bad time with bowls, I know that I can step back and put myself more into school or work or whatever. Uh, so I think in a sense, it's worked out really well. It's obviously a big time commitment when you're trying to manage a full course load, 
traveling in the middle of semesters quite often uh, can be a bit of a challenge at times. For sure, for sure. Um, are your classes all going to be online, I assume, for the fall and winter? Yeah, we're okay. all online for the full year out here. So okay. I'll just be living in this room. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah. What are some differences you've noticed between being in Manitoba, Nova Scotia, and Alberta? Uh, I mean, obviously the weather and the scenery is very different. Having the ocean out here is super cool. Uh, but I did get hit with the hurricane last year in my first week of school. Oh. Um, so that was a new experience. Obviously, in Manitoba, you don't get hurricanes ever. Uh, having the mountains is pretty cool in Calgary. But uh, in terms of bowling, um, I never really got a chance to play in any tournaments in Calgary. And I was only really out here for the fall. Um, but I mean, all the communities are super cool. In Winnipeg, though, I'm for sure still, or at least it feels like I'm still kind of that kid that grew up in the sport. Um, whereas I feel like sometimes being on the team out here, you get recognized, um, which is a really weird, uh, I don't know, feeling. I've never had that. I've always just been the kid that grew up around bowling, except for if I was by that. That's cool. Um, how bad was the hurricane? Like, did you have to evacuate or anything? No, it, well, it was supposed to be bad. I think it got down downgraded to a post-tropical storm or something as okay. soon as it hit landfall. But we didn't lose power, um, so we watched Bianca Andreso play her tennis matches. Oh, yeah. And pretty much just hunkered down for the weekend. It was awesome. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what are some positive changes you've seen at your club or province since you started playing? I think it's growing into more of a social sport um, and less kind of rigid, which is really nice to see. Um, for us in Winnipeg, we just got... Uh, Lawn Summer Nights, which is obviously a big charity and one that I'm, I think is a really great thing for our sport, um, being involved both on the cystic fibrosis side and the sports side. Um, so we got that last year, which is super cool. Um, and actually in Calgary, this was a really weird experience, but when I went to work, um, they talked about how, oh, the year before we had all our clients out and all our associates and we took them out lawn bowling. Um, so rather than having to explain lawn bowling, everyone knew what it was and was like super pumped that I was a lawn bowler. Um, so I think that the sport is growing, uh, hopefully in knowledge, and then hopefully we'll see that kind of down the competitive side as well. Cool, yeah. If you could tell younger you a piece of bulls advice, what would it be? I think just have fun uh, and enjoy the moment. I think it's pretty easy to get lost in the competitive side of things, uh, and especially I'm guilty of that a lot. Um, but then you look back and it's such a cool experience, uh, especially now being able to wear the Canadian jersey uh, and play other countries is so cool uh, and yeah just enjoy that moment you watch a guy like bear he's having the time of his life out there always uh, and I, i'd love to be be at that moment so I, if i can get my younger self to do that i'd love that cool and if you could start your bulls career over again would you change anything uh maybe work on the sports like stuff earlier jump into that a bit might be the one thing i would change um, but otherwise i mean it's a cool journey i don't know if i would change it kind of a cliche but <laughs> fair enough um and then yeah that's all my real questions